ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here to give you a word from the Lord. Praise God. This word is for day 18. Thank you so much for joining me on this fast today. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have accomplished it in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just so grateful. Hallelujah. That we are moving into things of God, consecrated to God, praying, hallelujah, meditating in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is moving and speaking in this time. Praise God. He is moving and speaking clearly. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful to Jesus Christ that he is my Lord and Savior. I'm so grateful hallelujah that he lives in me praise god hallelujah it's the holy spirit that is a witness to jesus christ i have access to the kingdom of god hallelujah through the holy spirit that dwells in hallelujah the holy spirit is my teacher of all things praise god hallelujah i decree and declare it in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah i'm not here to take anybody down any past praise god i am here to decree and declare who jesus christ is to me praise god so you got to deal with jesus christ yourself you got to step up to the uh, throne praise god hallelujah the judgment seat yourself hallelujah but as for me and my house praise god my house hallelujah will serve the lord hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm fired up. Praise God. I pray for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. To have a heart for the Lord. I pray for each and every one of you to go hard for the Lord. Praise God. I pray for each and every one of you. Praise God. Hallelujah. To be lifted up by the spirit of God, to move in increase, to move in elevation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is calling us to a time. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, God is so good. We're going to move to communion in the mighty name of Jesus. This is day 18. Praise God. We were talking about being like Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Being like Zacchaeus. The Lord said for the last four days, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, praise God. We will be like the examples in the Bible. Hallelujah. Understand, praise God. Hallelujah. My doctrine is the Bible. Understand, hallelujah. I'm going to profess Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Understand, praise God. The foundation of my life is Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. So if you're looking for anything else, praise God. Hallelujah. You might need to look over there or you might need to look over there. Praise God. Hallelujah. But as for me in my house, Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, be like Zacchaeus. So what are we being like exactly? How did we showcase ourselves like Zacchaeus today? I pray that we were seeking the Lord. I pray that we didn't let anything get in our way of seeking the Lord, worshiping the Lord, meditating on the word. Hallelujah. For God is a good God <coughs> and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful today, y'all, to be in the presence of each and every one of you, to be together in fellowship, uh, serving the Lord, uh, professing his name, uh, just to hear, hallelujah, just uh, elevating the Lord, praise God, because he's so good, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to know that we are to continue to be like Zacchaeus. We are to continue to seek him. We are to continue to not let anything get in our way not let anything get in the way between us and Jesus Christ. Praise God. Continue to seek him like Zacchaeus. Continue to run after him like Zacchaeus. Continue to be like Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Why? Because in this move right here, praise God. Hallelujah. Zacchaeus was after the spirit of God. Zacchaeus was after Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus was, Zacchaeus was after that blood, praise God, that cleansed. I'm telling you, Zacchaeus was after being free. He wanted to be free and free indeed. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was ready to pay back. Pay back, return what he had taken from people. Hallelujah. He had a repentance heart, praise God. Immediately being in the face of truth, which is Jesus Christ. Immediately, praise God. Hallelujah. It wasn't something that Jesus Christ asked him to do. It was in his heart to do it, praise God. And he poured it out onto the people. And there were so many witnesses ready to hear him. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you today, praise God, that many of you are held down by captivity because you're not ready to release. You're not ready to stand in a repentant heart in front of the Lord. Praise God. And many of you have been repenting and repenting and repenting. And many of you have been lamenting, praise God, like a Jeremiah. Hallelujah. You've been lamenting for the world. The Lord is calling you, hallelujah, to greater intercessory. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling you, hallelujah, to a greater place in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you about those who are chosen by God. Those who are 
are chosen by God are going to do what God says, regardless of how it looks to the world. Hallelujah. And I'm going to talk about that on my next video. They will do what God says, regardless how it looks to the world, praise God, because they know that God is truth and God has a good plan for them, praise God. But beyond the good plan that God has, hallelujah, God is truth and he's the one who saves. So all of us should want to be back, hallelujah, reconciled to the Father in the mighty name of Jesus, because his spirit is our spirit, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we're only living by the grace of God. And it's his spirit alone that does it. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he has thought about us in this time. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's continue to be like Zacchaeus on our walk, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and go to communion, praise God. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have our, our bread, praise God, our cracker, and our grape juice, praise God. I hope you go ahead and uh, have it or have it prepared, praise God, for communion. If you haven't already done so, hallelujah. Let's go ahead and read chapter 11, 1 Corinthians, starting at verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the same way, he took the cup. Also, after say, supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body of the Lord, blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick and a number sleep. Hallelujah. Dear Lord God, hallelujah, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord God, hallelujah, our Father, hallelujah, who art in heaven, praise God. We're coming unto you today, oh Father God. We're thanking you for communion. We're thanking you for fellowship. We're thanking you for the gathering and the story that you have, put, put, have placed upon us, oh Father God. We love you and we honor you, oh Lord. We thank you for your giving. We thank you for your stretching. We thank you for pouring into us, oh Father God. We thank you for pouring into all of your people. We thank you for the people you have called, oh Lord God, to help us along this path, to make the journey, hallelujah, sweet, to make the load lighter, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We thank you, oh Father God, for being so concerned about us in this season, oh Father, hallelujah. We give y'all honor, glory, and praises, oh Lord God. Take us where we need to be, oh Father God. May we see clearly where we are headed, oh Lord. May we avoid those people, oh Lord God, that will be stumbling blocks on our path, oh Lord, hallelujah. Those leeches, hallelujah, those thorns, those briars, oh Oh Lord, hallelujah. Those self-seeking people, oh Father God, may they be detoured off our path in the mighty name of Jesus. Get rid of all of the counterfeits, oh Lord God. Ha, ha, ha. All of those who claim that they want you, Lord. All of those who claim that they love you. Ha, ha, ha. All of those, hallelujah, who sit up there, praise God, hallelujah, claiming, hallelujah, that they want to be in your presence, oh Father God. And in the second turn off back. our path in the mighty name of Jesus, because we are for real about your word. We are for real about being in your grace. We are for real about being in your presence, oh Father God. Hallelujah. Have your way, oh Father God. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. And for all of those youngsters, oh Lord God, who are pregnant, Lord God, hallelujah, 11, hallelujah, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, Lord God, hallelujah. Touch them and keep them, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Keep the children, oh Lord God. Cover those children, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. May they be raised up in your grace, Lord God. May they be raised up in your purposes, Oh Lord God, hallelujah. May they be aligned to your steps, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Structure the walk of those young mothers, oh Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Call them to you, oh Lord God. We pray for their covering in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We pray for the orphans today, oh Father God. We pray for those without mothers and without fathers, oh Lord, hallelujah. We pray for them, oh Father God. Touch them and keep them in the mighty name of Jesus. Align their steps to yours, oh Lord God, for you have a purpose for their life, oh Lord God, hallelujah. Strengthen them in their walk, Lord God, hallelujah. Let them feel your love, oh Lord God. Let that love fill those places that are buried inside of them, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We pray for the widows, oh Father God, those who are without their wives and without their husbands, oh Lord God, those who are heartbroken and lonely, oh Father God, hallelujah. We pray for them right now that you will fill them and strengthen them, hallelujah. Fill them with your love and strengthen them with your strength, oh Lord, hallelujah. Only you can do it by your power and your authority, oh Father God. Give them what they need, all of the resources, oh Lord God, so they can continue to make it through, oh Father God, hallelujah. Show them who you are, encounter them, oh Lord, hallelujah, like never before in Jesus' mighty name as we pray. Thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. And we pray for this world, oh Lord God, the leadership of this world in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, oh Lord God, hallelujah, that they will be like Zacchaeus, oh Lord God, that they will run and seek you, oh Father God, their great counsel in the mighty name of Jesus, the one and only true living God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That they will seek you in all their ways, oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are a great God and worthy to be praised and we honor and glorify you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for shining your light on us, oh Lord God. May we be the beacons of light that you have created oh father god hallelujah may our lamps keep burning oh father god for you in jesus mighty name we love you and we honor you and we glorify you oh lord jesus hallelujah have your way with us today in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah amen praise god i pray that you have been blessed by this word you've been blessed by this prayer praise god hallelujah and that you are moving on in the things of god knowing that god has you covered in jesus mighty name today we are being like Zacchaeus. tomorrow we we'll continue to seek the lord like Zacchaeus. hallelujah we will not let anything stand in our way between the relationship we have with Jesus Christ. I'm telling you today, be blessed in all your ways. Love you with the love of Christ. I will see you tomorrow, day 19, y'all. Yes, day 19, praise God. Hallelujah. 6 a.m. We're eating clean. We're consecrating. We're moving into things of God. Hallelujah. We're meditating on the word. We're reading the word, praise God. Hallelujah. And if you want to worship, worship God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we're just bringing that thing on in. We're reeling it on in, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord told Peter, praise God, as Peter was fishing, you know, that he was Simon, praise God. Hallelujah. He told Simon, praise God. Hallelujah. That he will make him, hallelujah, fishers, a, a fisher of men, praise God. Hallelujah. And I pray today that as you are moving along this fast of submission to Jesus, hallelujah, that you become fisher of men, praise God, that you will do the work in the Lord, that you will begin to evangelize if he called you to be evangelist, hallelujah, that you will begin to be an apostle and you will begin, begin to build, hallelujah, that you will begin, hallelujah, to move in the prophetic, praise God, if you're called to the prophetic, praise God, that you will move, hallelujah, in the teachings, praise God, hallelujah, if you're called to teaching, hallelujah, understand what I'm saying, if you're called as a shepherd, a pastor, praise God, that you will move in that, hallelujah, and if you're called in any other uh, source of ministry, praise God, whether it's financial ministry, praise God, hallelujah, and if it is an authentic on authorship ministry, praise God, hallelujah, where you just write, praise God, this is how people get your ministry, because you write books, hallelujah, do you understand, hallelujah, that authorship is a relationship with the Holy Spirit who directs you in that writing, praise God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just telling you today, praise God, whatever your ministry is, whatever God has called you to do, praise God, hallelujah, it could be skincare, beautification, praise God, hallelujah, fashion in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, it could be content creator, praise God, hallelujah. It could be tech, hallelujah. It could be an engineer in the mighty name of Jesus, a physician, a lawyer, praise God. No matter what God has called you to be in the mighty name of Jesus, carry out that ministry in Jesus' mighty name and be blessed in all your ways, knowing that Christ has set you apart from everybody else and that you are more than a conqueror and every single thing that he has placed in your hand, it is good in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. I love you with the love of Christ, praise God, hallelujah. Know that Jesus Christ loves you and I love you. See you tomorrow at 6 a.m.